What is up, everybody? Welcome back. It's uh, It's been a while since I've been home here in Shenzhen, back in the closet. So I just spent 14 days in hotel quarantine in Shanghai, and then I came back to Shenzhen, and I spent... I spent seven days at home quarantine. And somehow in quarantine, I got sick. I have no idea. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's not COVID because I've taken seven COVID tests since I got off the plane. As soon as I got off the plane in Shanghai, I took a test before I even went through customs. I took four more in hotel quarantine. Oh, actually, I've taken eight now. Sorry. Because I took two during home quarantine and then one more. Um, actually, when I traveled between Sh Shanghai to Shenzhen I took a COVID test uh, at the train station when I got off the train in Shenzhen so it's eight eight COVID tests and negative every time but still on my last day of home quarantine I got sick I have no idea how anyway I'm happy to be back and yesterday my first day out of quarantine I went to the Neo house in Shenzhen because there's a ET7 here I've seen the ET7 before. I've showed you guys before in Shanghai. When I was on my road trip, I stopped at the Neo house there and I saw the ET7 and it was the blue, the same color blue that my car is, my EC6. Uh, but the Neo ET7 here in Shenzhen is white. And they were also having kind of a ET7 event yesterday. So I figured hey, it's my first day out of quarantine and uh, it seems like a, a good thing to do is go to this event. So today we're gonna talk about that event real quick. And, uh, and show you the ET7 in white. Before we do that, uh, please, you know, obviously like and subscribe if you can. My birthday's in about three days. I'd like to get to 10,000 subscribers before my birthday somehow. I doubt it's gonna happen, but hey, if you watch this and you wanna subscribe, do it, go for it. Okay, so the ET7 event was twofold. It was one, a live stream where they introduced the ET7 to viewers online. Um, and they had some uh, like activity type thing where you could uh, Chojang, like, uh, win a prize, basically. Um, but it wasn't that exciting, wasn't that interesting. Um, but I was watching the, them do it, and you can see that here on the screen. They were doing the live stream while I was there. And then I went upstairs to, uh, the Neo house, where they had a event for pre-order customers of ET7. There was only about 100 people in there, I just guess, you know, ballpark. But, again, those were all people who had pre-ordered the ET7. Um, so I joined the event for a while. They said, oh, you haven't pre-ordered, it's fine, you can join since you're here. So that's what I did. I sat there, I watched them for a while, but I was really sick yesterday. I was just sneezing and coughing, so I left pretty quick. Um, so I'm sorry I didn't really see everything they did. Um, but basically they were introducing the car to the customers, what they can expect. And what I gathered from this event was that uh, in Shenzhen, there's over 1,200 pre-orders for the ET7. Now you might remember, a long time ago, back in February, I asked the NEO staff at the Shenzhen NEO house, I said, how many ET7s have been pre-ordered? That was in February of this year. I asked them that, uh, that was only a month after NEO day. And they had told me there was 400 NEO ET7s already pre-ordered. So now basically from February till now, apparently only 800 more pre-orders for ET7. So that's the first bit of info I got. They also told me uh, when I talked to them, they said that as of right now, there's three waves of pre-order deliveries. Uh, this is the same thing they told me back then too, so I don't know if, you know, what what's changed, if not, maybe nothing. Um, but they told me if I pre-order now, I'd probably be in like the wave three of delivery. So there's the first wave, they said, will go out probably late March, the first deliveries of ET7, late March or early April. And then they said, uh, once they get through with that, probably uh, May, June, second batch of pre-orders would go out. And then they told me if I order today, I'd be in batch three probably, and they said it would probably be June or July. Uh, but I'm not ordering, so I think Mr. P's getting one, right? Um, so maybe he'll get his in April or so. Who knows? So 1,200 pre-orders for ET7 in Shenzhen, which is a tier one city. Um, there's also, you know, Shanghai, of course, Guangzhou, Beijing, uh, even Tianjin, sometimes considered a tier one city. So if the numbers are equivalent, that's already 6,000 pre-orders uh, across China. Um, but I would bet probably Shanghai even more because they're the number one city for for Neo deliveries. So yeah, those are the, I guess, the big two news for the ET7. Then after that, I just wanna say that uh, I saw the car again. Obviously, you can see it here in white this time. And I gotta say, I don't really like it in white. I'll be perfectly honest. 
I don't think it looks near as good as it does in blue or black or even green. Um, obviously, I haven't seen the black or green in, in real life, but you can look on the uh, on the app and configure your car. Uh, and it looks, I think it looks great in green and black too. Oh, so that's that, yeah. And uh, what else? Okay, so I also asked them about when we could test drive or even when we could open the door to the car and see in the car. Because again, as you can see, it's blocked off. You can't actually get in the car. Um, they said the, the car is still not final. The factory is obviously not up and running, pumping the car out just yet on a mass scale. So the, the Neo staff said that we're not going to be able to get in the car until everything is final. Um, they said everything from the software to, you know, the hardware material, everything, which is understandable. And so what they told me was should be January of this of next year should be able to a get inside the car and b start test driving the car. They said if you want to test drive the car, you have to have a pre-order in. So I don't have a pre-order in. I'm not going to pre-order it. So I'll leave it up to other people to test drive it. Unless Neo, if you're watching, you want to let me have a test drive when it's possible. I would love to. So hopefully you contact me. And yeah, I guess final note is I'm working with Neo on a kind of a project i can't really say too much um it's not confirmed to happen um but it might so if that actually does come through that would be really cool it's not related to et7 or cars in particular but it's just just kind of a multimedia thing we've been talking about so if that happens that would be really great and uh, i hope you look forward to that and crossing my fingers that it does come through so yeah that's it Thank you for watching as always and uh, go get your pre-order in for ET7 if you if you want to test drive it. My nose is running, I've been coughing and sneezing, my eyes are running and so today I'm here with uh, this place and I'm going to get some yang cha which is like Chinese herbal tea and it's disgusting but it's supposed to cool your body down and uh, make you feel better and so let's go and give it a try alright? So this liang cha is famous in Cantonese regions of China. Um, it's made from like herbs and uh, bitter melon seeds and all kinds of, I don't know what, um, dandelions apparently. And uh, really, it's absolutely disgusting. I'm gonna wrench probably. So uh, this is two orders. It's uh, drink half now, half later. And it's 28 RMB, so okay. When you drink it, you gotta just down the hatch. It's too hot. <coughs> oh, it's gross. Okay. Oh, I can't do it. I only, I only had a little bit. It's too hot. <coughs> it's so gross. I don't know how Chinese people do this. It's too hot. Different uh, Nang Cha for different uh, afflictions. Like this one is Gan Mao Cha. That's for when you're sick, you have a cold like me. There's also, I see one that's like for your stomach, I think, or something. I don't know, my Chinese sucks. But uh, this is the one for being sick, so hopefully it makes me not sick. I gotta do it down the hatch. <laughs>